religion we're going to be. And then he's going to tell us the top 10 news stories. And then in the second segment, he's going to make his predictions for the 2011 or 2012. What, what, what year is it right now? It's, it's 2011. You made 2011 <laughs> predictions. <I did. laughs> and, uh, and then you're going to give us your 2012. So don't worry about those dates that you were hearing. All right. So in, 2000, uh, in 2010, you made guesses for the 2011 big news stories of the year. And uh, we would, uh, here's, here's, here's the recap from, uh, from the good doctor, Tony Jones. Well, um, let, me, let me start with the, uh, well, here, here's, here are my top five right. from last year. And your, then we'll actually talk about what, what the religion news service said that they were. Okay, we're going to write them down and see how you did. I said that political correctness towards Islam will decrease. Okay, you thought you thought that uh, some some religious people were going to be tougher on the Muslims. I was wrong. You were you were wrong. I was. R- 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 remember the fonts? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was. R- 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 yeah, yeah, you just just can't you can't quite say it. But, I don't think that really happened. <laughs> that, I mean, yeah, you don't you don't think it turned any worse? No, it didn't get. You know, we it's been a couple of years since we had the big uh, uh, mosque showdown at, by the World Trade right. Center, and you know that like nothing really. Happened in that regard. I, I thought you're right. I thought maybe one or two of the Republican candidates might make that a big deal for them. Like, boy, and they really haven't jumped on that at all, have they? I would have no, thought so too. No, I would have thought real... that their big run-up would have been uh, let's keep let's keep America safe from. They uh, haven't gone the Bush way and been like Islam is a religion of peace, but they haven't gone the other way. Like we need to guard our borders against. Right. Mo- yeah. I mean, That's Newt probably... actually has some stuff like about that but that's probably cuz Romney doesn't want to bring up anything to do with 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 religion. Hey hey Will, do you have a buzzer sound out there in I'm the I'm looking for one. Uh, are you looking right now? Okay, all right. And maybe a maybe a Tinkerbell sound all right. if he gets one right. Number 2 was the Pope will not say or do anything controversial. Okay. And you know what? I'll give myself a ding on that one. We'll oh, see. ding 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 ding. You think that was right? The the, the Pope the Pope held Still steady. Looking. Still looking. Yeah. Because, you know, the, this pope, um, that's a pretty safe prediction by me, but this pope is, he's a quiet pope. <laughs> as popes go. I mean, yeah. he's no John Paul too, yeah. right? And I think the next pope that they elect is going to be much more uh, boisterous about things. But um, I think that uh, this pope, he's, he keeps a pretty low profile. He's kind of a bureaucrat, technocrat. I mean, he at one point he refused to have a... Um, he refused to pray with, you know, people from other religions. Yeah. But that's it. Did it barely? You know, he's not. That's making, not he controversial. Make but that's not controversial. So on the prediction that the Pope would not uh, do or say anything controversial, our ruling is: Hey, we got a bell. All right, number three. <clears throat> number three prediction from Tony Jones about the 2011. Get ready on that bell. Okay. <laughs> Oh, really? I think we should get to be the judge of that. I don't think you should get to judge yourself. I mean, that... Universalism okay. will become a hot topic Boy. in the evangelical world. So uh, I'm going to set this one up for you. In 2010, before anyone knows about what's going to happen in the evangelical world with a book called Love Wins, Tony Jones predicts that universalism, the idea of, of a rethinking of heaven and hell, is going to become a big topic for evangelicals. Somehow you conjured up that, that fact. I just had a feeling that was going to be the next big doctrinal fight among evangelicals. And I didn't even know Rob Bell's book was coming out. No. And, and your listeners, some of your listeners may recall when I guest hosted and, mm-hmm. and Rob came in. Yep. And uh, I mean, I came in, called in, but yeah. then spoke in the yeah. Twin Cities. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think I was right. And so the ruling is, oh, he wins. <laughs> Tony Jones, so, so good. He knocked the camera off. Yes. The All right. All right. So you're two for three already. You're, do, you're doing yeah, pretty well. Yeah, it kind of yeah. goes downhill from here. <laughs> it goes downhill from here. It's a lot All right. Like, a lot like Number four. High. Number four. Okay. Rick Warren's influence will wane and new evangelical leaders will emerge. Oh. Now, all, here's what I'll say in my own defense. Rick Warren has not come out with a book or anything of interest. Uh, I mean, he's got a lot of Twitter followers, uh-huh. et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, but, but he's not really done anything. He, he's, there's been no book. There have been no headlines. Mm-hmm. Um, and the best sellers in the evangelical world are like Francis Chan. Yeah. So I think you were right on that one. How can you not? Yes. All right. I think, Give I me think, the bell. I think he. Uh, Look at that! You're three for you're three for four. All right, and here's the last one. Yeah, this this could be the highlight of your year. 
with a with, a with handful a, of evangelical leaders will come out in support of GLBT marriage slash ordination. Uh huh. And no, nope. yeah. <clears throat> that yet. didn't really happen. Not even a handful. Not not even a handful. I mean, privately to you and me, several yes. have. Oh, yeah, a number of them have. You know, yes. <laughs> but nobody's talking about it publicly. And I do wonder if this year. Well, we'll talk about this after the break. But I do wonder if this year uh, that will happen in um, in the presidential election. Yeah, so or, you're going to give us Minnesota marriage amendment. Or something. Yeah, so so it could be that Tony Jones is hanging tight that he's uh, he's going to stick with that prediction into so, 2011. But you have to hold on for segment two before you hear about the new predictions. He, so that those are my five. Here's what the religion news service. I'll just run them down and then we can talk about any of them you want to before the break. Right. Here's what the religion news service said were the top religion news stories of 2011. All right, here we go. The death of Osama bin Laden and how. Uh, you know, religious people reacted to the fact that we wow. hunted down and set. That's religion news service, right? You know what I'm wow, saying? That's These not are... a very religious story. Okay. okay. Two. It was uh, a big deal for the Mennonites. Lively right? congressional <laughs> hearings are held on the civil rights of American Muslims. Remember that Peter was a King? Big news story. Yes. What, Peter King like called in and, and news what's story. our guy's name? Came, went in there and cried. And Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Three. Your news story. A Catholic better. bishop from Kansas City was charged, was the first Catholic. Bishop to be charged in U.S. federal court with covering up, oh, yeah. uh, you know, with pedophilia scandal. Number four, the Catholic Church introduced changes to the mass. Wow. Remember that? Yeah, I do. A few, na- a few words. Yeah. Number five, the uh, Presbyterian Church USA allows a local option of ordination of partnered gay people. Well, you know, it's surprising that people don't uh, <laughs> don't find new, uh, religion news more no, interesting. Ki- well, it's a this slow, is, news, it, no, slow I'm, new, news year in religion. Is, my if gosh. If this is what the religion yeah. beat reporters around the country are reporting on, no I mean, religion's, a, so lot, a, religion's yeah. a lot more interesting than this. All right, you got less okay, than 30 seconds. Number six, John mm-hmm. Paul II is beatified on his way to sainthood Appa- now, apparently the, the news people like covering catholic news number seven oh yeah there are only, there are a billion of them yeah so number uh seven harold camping uh, predicts yes. the end of the world yeah, twice there you go. And misses <laughs> yeah number for, he eight. was over two by the way you you, had, you, you were <laughs> yeah. three for five yeah. that poor that poor number guy. eight a book by michigan megachurch pastor hey. rob bell da, 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 da. Buddy rob love bell wins big time Number nine, uh, the personhood initiative in Mississippi. Oh, yeah. And number Fails. 10, new Bible translations made headlines. Boy. That's it. See, Ooh. I'm telling you, people, we make religion fun around here. Oh, that's my. what we have to work with. Yeah, so exactly. stick with us. We're going to be back <laughs> right. with Tony's predictions for 2012 and the rabbi and the chocolate maven. Uh, I mean, it's a crazy day. Uh, st- stick with us here at Doug Padger Radio on AM 950 and Doug Grants and economic loans provided by the Shakopee Mitawakanton Sioux Community.